we're going to balance these blades today. Um, this rotor's 14 foot diameter. It's made out of western red cedar, laminated up from 2x4s. It's only an inch and a half thick, and some people freak out about that, but really, I have no problem with blades like this starting up in, in low wind speed. And if you consider the that power is related directly to the swept area, then we know that halfway out of the blade, 75% um, of the swept area is coming from the outer half of the radius. And the inner part would be 25%, except that it's inherently less efficient anyhow. So as we come in closer, I worry um, less about getting the correct angle of attack in here. I worry quite a bit about it out here. Um, as long as the machine starts up in low wind, as long as we have a pretty good pitch, um, for most of the blade, the inner part, its job is really to not provide too much drag and to hold the tips on. At least that's my opinion, and it seems to work fine. These machines do start up in very low wind, and they spin no problem at um, a couple miles per hour. So anyhow, to balance the blade um, this way, sometimes we will spin balanced on the tower, but here I have it hanging. So I've drilled and tapped a hole dead center in the blade, hanging it from an eye bolt, and sometimes I'll even oil it here, just so there's no friction. And I've got two scales, or uh, two levels, set at 90 degrees from each other. And then we'll add weight. And I like to add weight near the hub, um, near the root of the blade, not out where we've carved. So this is a decoy weight. It's made of lead for holding um, ducks down, uh, you know, fake ducks for duck hunting, um, that sort of thing. I also have some uh, lead sheet that I've set to cut exactly an inch and a half wide. I can cut it on the bandsaw, no problem. And that fits nicely on the edge of the blade in here. And this is my preferred place to add weight. We can get nice long screws in here. Wood screws will go right through the lead. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this lead sheet and we'll balance this blade. Cut the leg sheet. Hopefully, it's enough lead. Cut. Could have used any kind of weights. I've like used steel before, but lead is nice. And the screws will go right through this. So. Balancing is pretty quick. I can tell I need weight probably here. And take a lot of weight out here. Okay, being that that wants so much weight, I'm gonna grab another chunk of lead and get an idea of what.
So that's a heavy piece. I probably put that on the back of the blade. Um, but it's... I'll put these close to the edge so that when I move them down here, it'll be about the same. You can almost tell by the color. Notice the dark blades are lightweight. This blonder blade is, or this is the lightweight blade. These two are about the same. And I'm getting really close. Some people get real picky when they're making the blades about weighing each blade and everything. I, I don't worry about that, as long as we get a good static balance. So if anything, we're a little... Heavy here? A little heavy on that side, so I can move this. You know, look at these scales, or the levels. At this point, it gets really touchy. I almost feel like I could take one off here. He's out of smidge. It's like playing with a scale. So anyhow, you probably get the point. We'll screw those on and then check it again. I've drilled a bunch of holes in that one. So I can screw them all on now. mostly cosmetic reasons. Now that that one's screwed on, I'm going to double check. It's kind of a miracle all the weight is just going on one blade here. It's pretty much perfect. I think I'm going to take this whole stack and put one hole through it. Maybe a couple holes through the whole stack. Even though the screws will drive through this, that's a pretty thick pile. change things slightly to put this whole pile over here, but not much. We might have to add a little adjustment.
And we'll spin balance this too. When we do get it on the tower and get it raised up a little bit, we'll see if uh, any side seems heavy, but for now this is a good start. Usually when I do this, we don't have to worry about it again. Clean that up and make it look a little better. Tap it down with a hammer and put a few more screws in, but for now, that's pretty good. And um, now this can come back apart and hopefully when we get in the field, it'll, it'll be pretty good. 